Hi, I'm Jim with Thin Stuff Music, and we're here today to look at the brand new ES-330 from Gibson. Now, of course, this isn't a new guitar. It's a reissue of an old classic that Gibson started making in the early 50s, and they made variants of it um, on and off throughout the years. Uh, this is part of their uh, new core line. Uh, this is a fully hollow guitar, P90s. It was originally made as a cheaper alternative to the 335, which, of course, it resembles very closely. Um, you can read the rest of the specs in the description. We're going to listen to this guitar clean and dirty, um, going through a hand-wired reissue Princeton Reverb. In the beginning, I was running it with uh, a little bit of reverb from a Dell Verb and an old Hermita Audio Zen Drive. So here we go. Here is the guitar clean in the neck and everything uh, wide open. <laughs> Volume down a bit. Give it a haircut with the tone. Volume down a little more. Here we go in the middle, wide open. Back on the tones and volumes a little bit. Now with P90s, you know they're noisy, it's just kind of the way they are, you can't really hear it when you're playing with a band. Um, if you keep the volumes at the exact same level, you always have hum cancelling, but if you crank one up higher than the other, you get a little bit of hum. So um, there's a whole wide world of sounds you can get in the middle. Here's the bridge wide open. Alright, I'm going to give it some overdrive with the green side of a protein. Still on the bridge. Great thing about these is you get a lot of clarity when you're hitting the gain.
right, that is the ES-330 from Gibson.